good for your gaskets or your carburetor. There's also some problem in here, as you can hear, a little drive shaft that spins. So, yeah, guys, you're wondering what this is on my head. It's just Ash Wednesday, so I just have uh, ashes there on my head um, for cross. For the cross. Um, basically, it's the season of Lent. So, anyways. Um, this is working pretty good, guys. I have my glove on. See, one hand doesn't have a glove on. Well, when I start this, my thumb always runs into this, and then I get a bump. So, it's right here on my finger. It gets really bad. See right here? My hands are really not good, really, but uh, they're just dry, and 
but there's a little bit of a rub right there. And it doesn't feel too good when you get it rubbed down. But um, I'm going to go grab the old tripod. We are going to realign this. And then, yeah, we're going to go from there. Um, I'm going to run it hard, 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 hard. And see if I can't get any leaks because this has been wet right here. Yes, I know it's not focusing. Um, this stuff right, this has been wet, so uh, that needs to be put back in. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Buzz. See, and then I take the trigger, and it'll go buzz, buzz. So. I have this tape on here because I need to buy a washer for the side deal there. So, the other day the tiller died when I was tilling at a customer's property and I haven't been able to start it for three weeks, haven't messed with it, haven't wanted to do a thing with it, and that seems to have been the problem. Also with that, there has been a fuel leak from one of the fuel lines um, that's leaking currently. Oh no, just kidding. It's not leaking at all. It's just... I got that fixed and going, so it's all good. Um, yeah, this is all wet and dirty. Maybe this weekend or something, I'll put it in some uh, some cleaner, some grime deal. So. This is another reason why the machine doesn't breathe very well, as in get good air, so. I almost wish there's a very small thing where I could go right here into this and kind of bend something, and then that would hold it in, but the screw's not wide enough or long enough. And also this little kill wire right here. Ooh, that engine's hot. Right there, it's got a crump in it. That is a zip. So, we're gonna start looking at this stuff. Hey, look at this, guys. Oil when I do that, yep. Yeah. That side, that side's got nothing. This little wash is pretty good, but this side here, guys, see this? When I wiggle this, a little bit of oil. So that's all right, but. This is all we're doing. We're not doing tilling with this thing. 12 hours a day. It's obviously not made for that. Anyways, I'm going to go grab the... I'm going to be able to hold these. I'll just keep this video good going. So... No, I don't want that. So, old sparky plug from the main piece. It'll still work. Here is my little deals. This is a one of those little screens. Let's see. These little dots stuck down, a little bit of stuck down there, but it's all. It'd be all right. Yeah, but I mean, guys, we're here getting stuff for fixed, stuff for, for, for fixed, and running. I guess that's good. The moment of truth would be when we fire it up and see what it does. So I got the number. Um, obviously, don't know what you're seeing. 
room and take a pin and go through that hole right there and then we take this and we go over here. Yeah, it's really nice to take this off tines off so then you're adjusting the carburetor it uh, doesn't go away After my school is Christian, so we have chapel later on Ash Wednesday service. I'm gonna take that. Is that gonna fit on there? We're getting the tripod quickly. I'm going to keep the tripod in the shed from here on out because I always need to get the tripod and always feels to me. I'm going to get it. It's going to take a few seconds. I'm always fixing something because we are getting excited for this year season. Because it's almost here. Oh, makes you want to cry. Back to getting. Oh man, I can't wait. But right now, guys, we're getting equipment ready to giddy up and go. So what I'm doing right now is taking this screws out and we're going to try to bend this side back right here because it's a little bit on the messy side of things. Little ba bang and a ba bang.
managed to, uh, there's a weld in here, and managed to split that. That's how bad a shape that thing is in. Um, a little bit better. Um, I need to get a screw and a wrench and a doohickey. Do a little work on that. This screw will go here. Um, I think what I'm going to do so this thing can come off all the time is uh, get some washers. So yeah, guys, my, uh, we're heading to the ranch this weekend um, because we're going to um, help my grandmother because she got her knee replaced the other day, so my aunt's been down there doing stuff. Uh, I've got to get there for her place and then I'm going to take care of her, so... You keep my grandmother in your, prayer, in your prayers, guys. She has two bad knees, and so she just had one done on Monday. So, and I'm gonna help out doing some other chores around the ranch. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know what we'll video. But it's gonna be really nice. No more gloominess. to prevent it from coming off again. So I'm going to get me a pair of pliers and we're going to tighten this part of the frame up. Um, it's looking a little better, guys. Um, what I should have done while well, I had it off is I should have taken this and bent this out because this is actually bent um, inward. So... We're gonna get this fixed next. socket box up and then we're gonna pop the wrench this wrench out and find a pair of pliers, but I guess this will have to do.
side there was pretty tight, so there's no loose loose in this. In there, so. About a seven sixteenth Allen wrench. Oh, that's about all. Let's test it. Let's see how it starts. Got the cable back in there. Uh oh. Oh my goodness! It doesn't. Give it another little snorty because it seems to like a snort. It likes to start off with no air filter. Uh, yeah. Oh man, I guess. 